Hi there, I'm Dr. DuBray, and today we're going to learn a little bit about oxidation numbers. And I can't think of a better way to showcase oxidation numbers than through the chemical chameleon demo. We're going to be using potassium permanganate, which is this lovely purple color, since it's dissolved in water. And we're going to mix that with a sucrose solution, or sugar water. Now the sugar is going to change the oxidation number of the manganese, and as it does that, it's going to go through a myriad of colors, which really helps bring oxidation numbers to life. So first, let's go ahead and look a little bit at the chemistry behind this. So we have potassium permanganate, where that potassium is going to be interacting with the water, so we're going to be left with MnO4 minus. Now for oxidation numbers, we don't have a lot to work with here. We have the manganese, which is a transition metal, and doesn't really follow any set rules for oxidation numbers. But fortunately we have oxygen here, which is almost always going to have a negative 2 oxidation number. So when we go through and look at each of the individual atoms, if we add all those up together, that is equal to our charge. So we can actually solve for the oxidation state of the manganese. So for the manganese, we're going to simply put down an X, since we don't know what it is yet, and we're going to add that to the oxygens. Now the oxygens have, each have a negative 2 oxidation number, which is taken from right here, and we're going to multiply that by our number of oxygens, which is 4, which is right here. And that's all going to be equal to our charge of negative 1, which we can pull from the top right of our molecule. So now we can take this algebraic equation and solve for x. So we'll do x plus negative 2 times 4, which gives us a negative 8, is equal to negative 1. We can bring the 8 over to the other side by adding 8 to both sides, and we'll have x is equal to positive 7. So we know the oxidation state of manganese is positive 7, which will give a purple appearance. Now this will go ahead and react with the sugar, and we'll have our MnO4 minus. It's going to be reduced by the sugar, so it's going to be adding in some electrons, and we'll get MnO4 2 minus. Now I'm going to look at the oxidation state of this. All right, we have oxygen, which is, yep, a negative 2 oxidation state. And so we're going to do negative 2 times 4, give us negative 8, just like last time. Only this time our charge is 1 less. And so that's going to make the oxidation state of our manganese, you got it, 1 less. So that's going to be positive 6. And so when manganese is in a positive 6 oxidation state, it has a green appearance. Then it will go ahead and further react with the sugar and be reduced more. So we'll go from MnO. 4, 2 minus. Now this is going to be a little bit slower reaction because I added in some uh, hydroxide. I made it a basic solution. I'm going to go ahead and add in some waters here to keep our reaction balanced because I don't like to destroy oxygens willy-nilly. And so that will give us MnO2 and some hydroxides. Now we we'll to go through and try to figure out the oxidation of the manganese and MnO2. First, we're going to look at the oxygen, which is, yep, negative 2. It's almost always going to be negative 2, so always keep that in mind. And now our charge, there's nothing written down, which means it's neutral, or it's going to be 0. So negative 2 times 2 gives us negative 4. The only way to get to 0 is for this to be a positive 4. And this is going to have a brown appearance. Now, when we actually do this demonstration, we're going to actually see more colors than this. Uh, we're going to start with the purple. It's going to react almost immediately. It's going to change into a blue color. Now, there is a plus 5 oxidation state for manganese, which is blue, but we're probably not actually reaching that. It's probably just a mixture of the purple and green coming together, which makes a blue color, actually a dark blue. And then it's going to rest on the green. And finally, it's going to kind of transition into a yellowish brown. Uh, it's going to be yellow because it's kind of uh, diluted by the water. So let's go ahead and see this thing in action. So we have our potassium permanganate. We're going to add it to our sucrose water. So you went to that blue very, very fast. Now it's to the green. And now we're going to pick up the stirring just a little bit. And we're going to see it transition into a yellow. All right. There you go. So oxidation numbers are real. I hope you had fun. And I'll talk to you later.